welcome to your next Y Home Workout. Today we're going to do a strength-based workout using a kettlebell. You can also use a heavy single unit household item if you don't have a kettlebell, or you can do the workout or certain exercises throughout our workout today without a kettlebell and it'll still be an effective body weight workout. Are we ready to get started? Let's do it. We're going to start with just some nice high knees. Bringing the knees up nice and high. Waking up the core, the lower body. Perfect. When you're ready, let's add some arms. Like you're serious about this workout today? I am. I hope you are. All right. Perfect. Let's add a little bit of speed. Nice. Bring it back down. Okay. We're going to bring those legs wide. Little shuffle. Waking up the lower body even more. Fingers to center. Come in. Come out. Come in. Come out. One more time. Perfect. Let's do just some nice forward lunging. Lunge. Side to side. Forward. Watching 90 degrees in both knees. Awesome. Good work. Let's do two more. Beautiful. Staying this way, we're just going to come down to the ground. Come back up. Lift. If you're feeling into it, coming down, adding a push up. Coming back up, reach the sky. Remember those options? Let's do two more. Last one. Excellent. Now jumping jacks to finish off our warm up today. Lower impact option, depending on how you're feeling. Coming to the end of the warm up. 20 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Warmed up, ready to rock. So today we're going to do three different moves, one after another, then we get a break, then we'll repeat them. All three moves will focus on one set of muscles, and we're going to start off with legs. So safely picking up your kettlebell, first move is going to be a goblet squat. So we're going to flip the kettlebell over, hold it like it's a goblet, and we're going to come into our squat zone. Goblet means that it's like so, almost like you could drink from it. We won't do that during our workout, maybe after if you would like. Goblet squat looks like so. Chest up, similar to a body weight squat, adding this. We're then gonna move into a curtsy squat, coming side to side, and then we'll finish off with a single leg deadlift, and we'll do the other side. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Goblet squat, 30 seconds, we got this. So what's important here? Watching those knees don't come past the toe. Getting as low as you can. Core's tight. You should be feeling this in your core and your upper body. So it is a lower body workout, but surprise, the whole body's engaged. 10 seconds to go. Then we move right into our curtsy lunges. Ready? Three, two, one. Curtsy lunge. Back to center, other side. Excellent. The lower you go into this, the more challenging it is, and the wider your stance. The shorter, the less challenging. You can also take a break at any point if you need. 10 seconds. Make sure you remember to breathe. Three, two, and one. Okay, single leg deadlift. Options here. Keeping that toe 
behind you on the ground. Chest is tall and proud, supporting your lower back. If you're feeling comfortable, you can lift up that back leg, finding balance. Balance is easier said than done. Almost there. Five seconds, then we switch legs. Three, two, one. Opposite leg, remember those options. Down to the ground. Just a slight bend in your knee. If you're feeling into it. And you might also notice that one leg is a bit more stable than the other. 10 seconds. Try and fit in a ooh, couple more. If you fall, just get right back into it. Three, two, one. Okay, safely put that down. 30 second break, then we do the exact same round again. So we're doing about two minutes of work here without stopping, and then we get 30 seconds to recover. And then when I explain the next set of exercises, you can take recovery then. Take water as needed for yourself. It's your workout today. I'm just here to help lead it. Okay, 10 seconds left. Let's pick up our kettlebell. Let's pick up our goblet. Finding our squat zone. Three, two, one. Here we go. And I want you to really try and make the second set count. The second set is where we probably start to get a bit fatigued and where we have to push our muscles a little harder to do what we're asking them to do. That means they're going to start to change for us and we're going to start to see results. 10 seconds left. Perfect. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo, keep holding that. Here we go. Curtsy lunge. Just making sure you're paying attention. Awesome. Keep that breath. Beautiful. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay. Grab the kettlebell, single leg deadlifts. Here we go. If you're feeling sassy, right into it. Bringing that back leg off the ground. You can always regress back if you like. That means I'm working hard. I hope you are too. Five seconds to go. Try and give me one more. Three, two, one. Switching sides. Here we go. Remember, you get a nice break after this. As I show you the next moves. Halfway. Make sure you breathe. Five seconds, one more. Three, two, one. Excellent. Put that kettlebell down, shake it out. Okay, legs, check. Moving into upper body now. So we're gonna do three different moves for our upper body. I'm gonna show you. Picking up our kettlebell, we're gonna bring it over our head. We're gonna hold it like so over the head. We're doing a double overhead press. Coming up and down. So it's kind of like doing a tricep extension, but we're using our kettlebell here. We're then going to safely bring the kettlebell down, upright row, like so, and then we're going to move into single arm bent over row doing each side. All right, grabbing our kettlebell, bringing it overhead like so, getting ready, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Reaching up, Feel those triceps, readjust your form and your grip if needed. Awesome, halfway. It's important that your elbows are shooting forward and your biceps are close to your ears. Five seconds, three, two, one. All right, safely bring that down, adjust your grip, upright row, beautiful. So keeping the kettlebell close to your core, close to your trunk. Elbows are coming just up. Awesome. So what you're looking for here is just about two 
your chest line. Oh my gosh, only five seconds left. That was fast. Three, two, one. Okay, single bent over row. Single leg bent over row. So knee, here we go. Pulling. That back leg is straight. Front leg is bent. Engaging the back muscles. Over halfway. Excellent. And three, two, one. Safely switching sides, exact same thing. Opposite side, here we go. Options from a front view. Beautiful. Halfway. Good work, we get a little break after this. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, put that down. Whew. We get a little 30 second break, then we're doing the whole thing again, one after another. About two minutes of work as we do our three different exercises, and the last one we do on each side. Okay, about 10 seconds till we go. Safely pick up your kettlebell, please. Grabbing it in the appropriate position. Safely coming over your head, getting ready for our triceps and that double overhead press. Here we go. Coming up and down. Perfect. Halfway. All right. Five seconds, give me a couple more. Three, two, and one. Okay, safely bring that kettlebell down, adjust your grip. Here we go, upright row. Core is tight. Excellent. Great work. Remember to smile, gives you more energy. Especially when you're feeling tired, you should smile. Less than 10 seconds to go. And three, two, and one. All right, switching over. Single arm bent over row, here we go. Really feel each movement. We're halfway already. Awesome. Great work, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Switching sides. Here we go, set yourself up. Great work. Keep that chest tall and proud, please. Halfway already. Get a break after this, as I explain the next set of exercises. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, excellent. Kettlebell down, shake it out. Okay, we're moving on to core now. Final three exercises. We'll do each round twice, and then we'll finish off with a cool down. We're so close to being done, awesome. Okay, this is a quick workout, but an effective one. So coming down, first move, we're gonna hold the kettlebell like so. And we're just going to do a V-sit, holding the kettlebell here, adding a little bit of extra tension. We're then going to come onto the ground, option holding the kettlebell just above you, and we're just going to do leg raises up and down. If you're feeling into it, you can add the upper body. Perfect. And then we're going to finish off with some nice Russian twists. All right. Five seconds before we go. Let's get ready. V sit, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Options, holding our kettlebell here, contracting our core, bringing our legs up. If you're ready for it. Great work. So kettlebell is just adding a bit of extra weight here for our core to hold. Over halfway. Excellent. Making sure you're 
protecting your lower back. Five, four, three, two. All right, coming down, kettlebell up, legs up. Lowering your legs, bringing them back up. To make this a little bit easier, you can bend the knees. And if you'd like to progress up, add the upper body. Halfway. Perfect. Straight of the legs, the more challenging. Three, two, and one. Safely sitting up, Russian twist. So coming side to side, feet on the ground or raised in the air. This is an oblique workout, not an upper body one. So make sure your obliques are working over halfway. Awesome, five seconds. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay, 30 second break. Stretch it out as you need. We'll do that one more time and then you're done your workout today. Quick but effective workout today, working the upper body, the lower body, and the core. But secretly we're working the whole body the whole time because each move is engaging other areas and other muscles as well. Okay, 10 seconds left. Picking up our kettlebell, getting ready for our V-sit position. And here we go, 30 seconds. Find what works for you. Someone poked your midsection right now, it'd be rock hard. That's how it should feel. Those arms are working halfway. Great work. Ten to go. And three, two, one. Okay, sliding down. Get a little up, legs up. Choosing the option that works for you today for leg lifts. Halfway already. Great work, five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, coming up. And here we go, Russian twist, last exercise. Work the obliques. Awesome, over halfway. Five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, give yourself a high five. You did it. Now let's finish off with a little bit of a cool down and then you're free to go and enjoy the rest of your day. Coming on our backs here, please. Let it all go. We're just gonna do hamstring stretch. Bring up whichever leg works best for you in this moment. And just pull slightly, grabbing along the hamstring, behind the knee, the quad. Oh, pardon me, I can't. Great work. And bring that down, reach on through. Grabbing the opposite leg, just stretching out the glute. Should feel good after all those squats and lunges. Oh my. And release that opposite leg comes up, please. Guess we could say squats, lunges, deadlifts. Oh my. Be a fun, fun title for a workout, eh? Awesome, a little bit longer here. And bring that leg down, reach on through, giving a hug to the opposite leg, stretching up the glutes. Excellent. All right, release that. We're gonna slowly come on up. And bring your bum to the sky. Let your body hang just for a moment. Great work.
work today. And slowly rolling up. Reach all the way up. And we're just going to grab our balance one more time. Grabbing just the tops, top of your foot, stretching off the quads. Beautiful. Pull back just a little bit to feel a more intensified stretch. Great. And releasing that, let's switch sides. Ooh, find that balance. You know if your hair is a mess at the end of a workout, you've done a good job, so pardon me. Excellent. And release that, let's just do a little shake side to side. All right, triceps coming across. Excellent. And opposite side, stretching out the chest in between. Great work. Stretch out the chest one more time. Awesome. All right, thanks everyone for joining me today for your kettlebell workout. We hope to see you again soon. Stay strong.